Hey guys, I just thought I'd come on real quick and wish everybody a happy 4th of July weekend. And if you're going out, uh, I hope you are safe and you enjoy the fireworks or your vacation or whatever it is that you may be doing. Or if you're just staying at home like I am and watching on TV, I hope you enjoy that as well. Um, I just wanted to mention this little um, Keurig coffee maker that we got. Um, you make little, it has little K cups they're called that you put in there and you can make little individual cups of coffee. I think it's um, 8 ounces you can make so it's about a average coffee cup size. Um, but that's a pretty cool machine. Makes good coffee and you save a lot of money because, hi bubs. Because we normally go to Starbucks a lot and that just kind of got a little ridiculous with the money and everything. Because with three people, um, if me and my mom and my dad goes, it's um, like $11.50 and that's like outrageous. And then we were going to QT for a while and getting coffee from there. And that's still like five dollars a day. So in the long run, that machine I think was like oh, you might as well say almost a hundred dollars. But it sounds crazy if you think about it. But in the long run, it's worth it because you're not spending eleven dollars and fifty cents a day for coffee. But anyways, my eyes doing better. Um, I know a lot of people were confused by what my eye problem was but I have an eye disease called uveitis and there's different kind of causes what, what um, causes it but the, the main um, cause of it really it's um, unknown they don't really know the most causes of it but they think that um, mine come, comes from having arthritis because I have a lot of problems with my neck and stuff. But it can come from a lot of different viruses and funguses and parasites and bacteria and different diseases and inflammation and eye injury. And like I said, most causes of it is unknown. And they say... The uvea is the part of your eye which contains many blood vessels, the veins, arteries, and caterpillaries that carry blood to and from the eyes, since it nourish many important parts of the eyes, such as the retinal inflammation of the uvea can damage your eyesight. And like I said, when I first had it happen to me, I didn't really know what was going on and at first I thought I had pink eye and then I ended up, it never went away and I went to the eye doctor and found out that I had this disease in my eye. So it just comes and goes whenever it feels like it. Um, unfortunately, I've had it three times happen to me. The first time and then another time and this last time actually happened in the, the total opposite eye which he said that that could happen and he also said that if you're really unfortunate that you can have it happen to both of your eyes at the same time so hopefully that doesn't ever occur because it is kind of painful but um when I'm having that big outbreak, I had them big goofy glasses on that you've seen before. But I went out and got these little clippable glasses that you put over top of your glasses. Because I don't have insurance. And the glasses that I have on now, they cost $400 to get. So I didn't have the extra money to go ahead and get a pair of sunglasses on top of the $400 for the regular glasses. So these little doohickey things will work just fine. They're like, all, I think, 13 bucks at Walmart. And let's see, today's 4th of July. Um, 
we're watching the fireworks and the show on TV. I just got back and took Gucci for a really long walk. And hopefully that tires her out a little bit. Um, she really does not do good with different sounds and thunderstorms or anything at all. Anybody sneeze or cough or anything she doesn't do well with. But eventually we're probably going to try a different version of Prozac, but it's for dogs. And we're going to try her on that because she does have so many different problems with um with everything. She's just scared of everything. And we've tried a whole bunch of natural stuff and nothing's really ever has helped. So we're going to look into more of the Prozac and see if that's going to help her. Um, I went out and got myself some of this rescue remedy. Um, it's supposed to help with anxiety and stuff like that. Um, I think really most, mostly what it is is alcohol, truthfully, to tell you the truth. But um, I'll try it. I really haven't been anywhere too stressful or anything to where I've had to really give it a try to see if it really helps or anything. I was trying to show you the cat on the shed. We have that feral cat that I got to take to the vet to get neutered. But he likes to sleep out there on top of the shed. That can be considered my shed tag. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Um, but we ain't gonna go do that because that shed's packed full and we're not doing that. Oh, uh, let's see. I put mulch out outside today for our flowers out in the front of the house. I still gotta get about two or three more bags to finish that. I might go ahead and go show you that because I really don't have anything else to talk about. And then I'll stop running my mouth and leave you all be. And I got these new flip-flops too. They're pretty cool, but they're kind of painful on my feet. Giving me blisters because I'm not used to having that little band on top of them. But anyways, here goes the mulch that I put out. I put that out today over here and all these flowers that I got are all from Lowe's except for that humongous cactus that I got all these flowers from Lowe's for a dollar they were on the um the dead section part even this big one used to be this size and now it's this size but you should definitely check out Lowe's for the dead section and if you have time to water them you're, they usually come back to life. But I put that all down today. And I still gotta go around there and do that. And then I gotta get mulch and flowers to put around the trees. But anyways, that's what I was doing today. This cactus is freaking crazy. It used to be one little cactus and it has blew up to what it is now. I even got cactuses over there on that tree. It's outrageous. So if you want to come to my house and steal some cactuses, feel free. Alright, I was trying to think if there was anything else halfway interesting to talk about. But I don't think there is, so we're going to go watch the concert and the fireworks show on TV. And Gucci doesn't want to say goodbye. Boochie Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Gucci Gucci. And she's feeling much better. She's still not eating every day, but that might just be her. She's a real small dog, and she just might not be a big eater. I don't know. We only had her, like, maybe five, five months, I think it's been. So, we'll see how she goes. I mean, I've done every test that's possible to do. But she hasn't lost any weight or anything, so... And she does eat. Some days she'll just eat once a day, and then another day she'll eat two times a day. But, alright. 
Well, I'm not going to bug y'all. I hope everybody has a great 4th of July. And like I said, if you're going out, be careful. And if you're not, have fun being at home. And be careful at doing that too. And I hope everybody has a great day. And thank you so much for watching. And this video is 10 minutes. And that's the longest video I think I've ever rambled about. Alright, goodbye.